Well, hello everybody, Agrippa Maxinius here. As you guys know, I've really been enjoying Pride of Nations. It's absolutely awesome. And we're going to be playing the Indian Mutiny here. Uh, in the mid-1850s, a combination of events and decisions by the British East India Company were to lead the Indian subcontinent into a perfect storm. This storm was to catch the British Empire completely by surprise. The resulting war was to see the largest deployment of British troops from the end of the Napoleonic Wars in 1815 until the Second Boer War in 1899. In 1848, the East India Company introduced the Doctrine of Lapse, in which any prince, princely vassal state in which the ruler died without a natural heir would pass to the in East India Company. Traditionally, princes without sons would adopt an heir. The new policy caused unrest among the Indian ruling class as they feared for the survival of their dynasties. The Indian East, uh, the East India Company, which consisted of over 200,000 Indian Sepoy soldiers in, 16, in 1857, was divided into three armies, the Bengal Army, the Madras Army, and the Bombay Army. Of the three, the Bengal army was the only one composed largely of highly caste Indians. These soldiers depended on prize money traditionally paid during times of war. In times of peace, the soldiers' pay was very small. Unfortunately for these soldiers, the policies of the East India Company were geared to eliminating the petty wars that were the bread and butter of these soldiers. They needed a war to live, and a war, any war would do. So Mughal wins by controlling three of the following, Bombay, Calcutta, Delhi, or Madras, and Great Britain wins by controlling Bombay, Calcutta, Delhi, and Madras, and by destroying the Mughal forces. Now, of course, the Mughals have a surprise factor on us in this particular Let's Play. We're going to be playing as the British, of course, the great British Empire, uh, and we're going to go ahead and take them, and hopefully, guys, do a pretty good job here. I certainly hope so. In Merut, a major cantonment north of India, the 3rd Light Cavalry Regiment of the British East India Company rebelled against its British officers after a punishment parade for the native troops who refused to use the new greased Enfield cartridge. The cartridge was rumored to have cow or pig fat, offensive to both Hindu and Muslim soldiers, and I know for a fact that that was actually not true, uh, but it certainly was one way of really pissing off the Indians um, and upsetting them. The officers attempted to regain control on the men on the parade ground, but to no avail. The sowars and sepoys and the various native regiments stationed in Meirut roamed the city, killing Europeans, looting and burning the residences of British officers, um, and uh, many Europeans were saved by their servants and other loyal natives, but many other died horrible deaths butchered by the mobs. Eventually, after releasing all the prisoners from the jail and breaking open the treasury, the third light cavalry rode off to Delhi as asking to reinstall the old Mughal emperor on his throne. So, nothing to do with this, just press end turn. Nothing to do this turn. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to end the turn. And hopefully, we start getting some officers here. Right now, it looks like we just have a tremendous amount of men, uh, which I'm not so sure are loyal to us. Uh, but this is a very different kind of conflict here. Um, it looks like we're already next to an enemy army. Uh, and I'm hoping that we can go ahead and merge this army right here, try to get a nice army going. 88 men against 12. Ooh, I'm not so sure if we're going to do well, but we're going to go on an attack maneuver here with the Bengal Horse Artillery, led by Sir Archdale Wilson over here, of course. We want to go ahead and see if we can merge forces, but we may have some issues, my friends, merging these forces. It's not going to be easy. Uh, I like to take a look at the military control screen here. It looks like so far we control a whole lot. Um, the one thing that is kind of no, kind of bothering me is there doesn't seem to be many officers um, in this particular conflict. So that's kind of troubling, to say the least. Um, let's go ahead and get these guys to join up. And this is actually the East India Company. Let me see. Yes, yeah, so, so only some of these are going to be truly British. For instance, this brigade right here. We'll go ahead and can we join them together? I don't think we can. We want to focus on the 7th Bengal Brigade. Uh, and right now I can see they're locked. That's probably the issue here. I do hope that we get to control both the East India Company and um, the British together. That would be perfect. Now, of course, we got a 35% penalty, but there we go. Thomas Frank should fix that. No, still a 35% penalty. We're going to have to figure out what to do about that. That's not acceptable. Um, let's take a look over here really not acceptable. Um, I'm going to accept it just for this one turn because it doesn't seem that the threat to us is too severe. Uh, but once again, we're only controlling uh, the British forces and a lot of these East India Company forces are, to say the least, uh, locked. There's not much we can do. Over here, we've got a general. I want to make sure not to mess this up too much. Got another general here. He may be useful uh, to make a different army once these guys are unlocked. And if anybody has any suggestions on how to unlock them, please let me know. Uh, for now, we're going to take the army of Madras 
And Goa is Portuguese territory. We can't go there. But Jagdapur is not. And that's an area we definitely want to take out. So we're going to try to move to Jagdapur. But once again, locked, locked, locked. Everybody's locked right now. Um, and I don't think there's going to be a lot of fighting going on for a while. This is really the only army uh, which we have that is able to do any damage to the enemy. Uh, we've also got an army up here. Let's take a look. Okay. Not locked. Wonderful. Wonderful. I like it very much. Uh, and even this army right here is unlocked as well. Um, so I might try to join these two armies together. Let's go ahead. It's nine days for them to get there. I'm hoping the rest of the East India Company men can fight uh, the enemy here and uh, protect Great Britain from this Indian threat, which is unacceptable, of course. We're going to end the turn, guys. I'm hoping for the absolute best. Uh, first things first, I want to take a look at the different things we can do here. Of course, our Prime Minister is Lord Palmerston and the Queen and Prince Consort, Victoria, Queen Victoria and her consort, Albert. Must be pretty unfortunate for the consort uh, to have such little power. Although maybe Albert actually did have a lot of power. Less. It is a little sad. Um, not exactly the happiest fellow old Albert, I don't think. Uh, we're going to enter a military sub mode. And right now, there's really no units we can build. And I don't think we need to anyway. We just need to have these units unlock so that we can actually use them in combat. But that's not going to happen for a while. So let's end our turn here. And let's hope for the absolute best. Of course, these Mughals are desperate for British blood. And there we go, a British victory at Calcutta. Thank goodness we put that army together. We lost 563 men, but we killed 3,843 of these traitors. And I think that that's definitely something we want to look forward to. We're going to go ahead and end there. And once again, oh my good, at Merut, a British defeat. We lost 3,228 men. The enemy also lost uh, 3,485, led by Mirza Mughal. Um, but that's a serious loss uh, from one of our only British companies. So we need to be very full. And now... It looks like things are starting to turn nasty. Look at that. These guys have all revolted against us. And I can see why they said that um, the enemy has uh, the, the the benefit of surprise in this campaign. And they certainly do. Um, they have a lot of units here ready to fight. Ready to do some serious damage. Let's go ahead and get this guy. 5% penalty this guy. I'm going to take Lord Baron. The Baron here. 25% penalty, goodness. Perhaps if we add another leader here. There we go. 15% penalty. We need to keep these men in line, as you understand. Uh, in fact, I might even put another leader. No penalty at all. That's beautiful. We could probably take one of these unlocked divisions. Drop them in here. Still no penalty. Awesome. And still no penalty. Amazing. 995. Um, now, if we could have one more colonel there, that would be amazing. I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and take these guys and merge them as well. And still no penalty 1379. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what we need. We need to start moving east immediately because clearly the Mughal threat um, has become quite severe. So to get to Jagdapur, I want to see here. We should be able to move. No? Ah, I see what the issue is. I see what the issue is. It's Henry Somerset. You bastard, Henry. And now because of you, we need to give you some of these troops because you're a little child and you don't know how to lead men. Uh, so we're going to have to give them some of these cannons. We'll give them a few of our regulars, 1st Brigade. Um, trying to lower the penalty here, but it might be a little bit harder than expected. Um, give them another troop here. 35% penalty. Come on, for God's sake. 30. Come on. Give them a supply wagon. Still 35% penalty? Really? 30% penalty. Okay, we're getting closer, guys. Sorry, but, you know, in this particular scenario, um, we really do need to be quite careful with our penalties. Uh, we can't be dealing with, you know, a tremendous amount of issues um, in these armies. And I'm hoping that eventually Somerset's army will be able to move. Hopefully he'll be unlocked pretty soon. 20% penalty is not the end of the world. Um, but, uh, you know, it's 10% 10, 10 is more acceptable. That's better. So I'm going to go ahead and take these this 10% army. I'm going to move to Jagdapur. It's going to take us 60 days. Good Lord. There's no rails in this damn country. It's unfortunate. And we will build a depot, but we're not going to build it right yet. We're going to give it some time, my friends. Um, so there we go. We've also got the Magdor Brigade. They really can't do much to help us right now. And this army right here, I mean, they're in some trouble. Um, I'm going to go on a totally defensive track, as you guys can see. 
Uh, I don't want to have to deal with invading uh, Mughal armies. And right now, they're all over the place. So our men are in some serious trouble. What about this guy? Yes, this guy has a 35% penalty. Uh, but we are getting some new commanders. So I'm going to drop him in there. Still going to be a 35% penalty. What if we drop another commander? Still a 35% penalty. What about one more? 25. That's more like it. You need enough men to lead these armies or else you're in a lot of trouble. 15% penalty. And the rest of these guys can hang out while we deal with the threat. So what I'm going to do is try and wipe out the threat in this area. Try to get rid of some of the Mughal forces if I can. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this army. And I'm actually going to be on the offensive. We're going to move north to Dhaka. Um, hopefully taking out any units there. Basically anywhere where there are uh, Indian units or Mughal units that are a threat to us, we want to destroy. So let's hope that we find them um, on our attack, of course. And let's also hope that we get some reinforcements. We desperately need them. Over here, it looks like we have another army. Uh, which is beautiful. I'm going to take a look. That's 35% penalty. This guy's doing just fine. So um, I'm not going to add these guys. But basically anybody that can be added to the stack, I will. Not bad. 567. We're going to immediately go on an attack into Delhi. Obviously taking Delhi would be a ma major victory for us. So I'm going to go ahead and make that an assault phase. I'm just checking to see if we have any other men that can join the army. And we actually did have a stack here which would do very, very well together, if you could see there. Uh, problem is going to be that 35% penalty. It's going to be hard to avoid, unfortunately. Um, but there's really not much we can do. So as for these guys, I'm putting them on an offensive posture. They have no leader, so I'm going to see if we can find one. There we go. John Nicholson. Wonderful work, sir. Um, and I'm going to try to join this guy with John Nicholson's army. That's a 20% penalty. We're going to put Thomas Reed... Uh, that low, that's 35%. That actually added to our penalty. So let's see if we can get another group over here led by Thomas Reed. Still the 30% penalty for him. Uh, James, you're going to have to fix this, my friend. 20%, not so bad, really. Um, but really, I mean, it's, it's not good either. So we're going to take these guys out of the army. Now it's a 25% penalty. Uh, maybe we'll take one more out and merge them over here. 20% penalty, 15% penalty I can deal with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have these guys actually build a depot and stay put. And as for these guys with the 20% penalty, yeah, we might need to take out one of these cavalry units. And we're going to go ahead and attack this area right here, six days away from an attack. Uh, we might not be able to attack immediately, but at least we're getting the idea um, of what we need to do here to be successful. In fact, we've already got a large army here with a 35% penalty, but no leaders. Um, and we desperately need those leaders very, very badly. So I'm hoping that this guy right here um, is able to do his job. And eventually we can use these guys, despite that 35% penalty, to go ahead into Bahalpur and uh, crush the enemy. Then again, could just use them to build a depot, but that would be too easy, I think. Way too easy. Let's be realistic about it. Okay, guys, we're going for it. Next turn. British victory in Peshawar Depot. Awesome. Killing 3,000 of the enemy and only losing really about 512 of our own. So re really good job by Henry Bernard. And obviously, if anybody has any suggestions for this game, let me know, because we need as many as we can get. And once again, in the Battle of Panipat, a British victory, as you can see, we only lost 512 men. We lost, we took 19 companies prisoner, and we killed 4,356 and a ton of their horsemen against Bakht Khan. And Bakht Khan is one of the leaders of this Mughal revolt, so obviously taking him out for good is definitely something we want to do. Although, as you can see here... He's now starting to outnumber us a little, and that is making me very concerned. Um, so I'm going to try. There we go. Bakht Khan ran away. Um, actually, this is Agra. I'm going to go ahead and try to move this army over here on an attack. Um, and hopefully we can destroy something. Uh, these guys are still moving, obviously. It's going to take a while for this army to reach... The location we're going for and quite frankly this might be one of the few scenarios where a lot of these attacks i may need to do on my own and and really not focus on uh, on the leaders unfortunately it's just not something we can really we can't keep our eyes on everything if that makes sense so here we go I'm just taking a look here major general sir patrick grant wonderful man uh we want to see if there's any men that can join in 
Doesn't look like there are right now. No, no. I'm just taking a look at all of the different things we can do. Now, this army right here is once again locked. So are these guys, and so is the army down here. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this army right here and immediately start moving north uh, towards the front lines, essentially, um, at Nagpur and these other places. 49 days. We can't, unfortunately, take uh, the rail because there are no rails. But hopefully we can find some conflict on the way um, and stop this threat. Obviously, right now, there's a major problem with all of the forces over here, and we need to put a stop to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, as for this guy, eh, he's going to have to stay put, and maybe he could even build a depot. No, I don't think so. Well, let's just hope that uh, the great British Empire uh, is able to hold in that bay. And this 15% penalty, uh, I think now that we've actually purchased the necessary uh, armaments, we can go ahead and deal with these guys. I don't like them hanging out right outside of this uh, of this area, so I'm going to go for a full attack. And as well as going for a full attack, I'm going to go ahead and move into the south here, uh, hopefully helping us tremendously. Uh, also should be taking a look at the list of forces. We should be taking a look at the war ministry, uh, and, and even taking a look to see if we can build forces, although we really have a lot. We just don't know uh, if we're going to be able to make any difference with them. So there we go. We're going to end the turn once again. Glory to England. British victory at the Peshawar Depot. 400 men lost. So we got rid of them at the Peshawar Depot. That's I didn't want any enemies there. Another British victory at the Battle of Atatok. Uh, we lost 871 men. The enemy lost 1,500. And we're taking a lot of prisoners here. And once again, the Battle of Kutlak Depot. This was just a small contingent of forces which were, not lo which were locked. And we actually managed to kill 512 men and end that pretty quickly, uh, which is pretty awesome. This is going to be a major one and a British defeat. I mean, we're facing an army of 64,000 men. We lost 900, 900, 942. The enemy lost just about the same amount, but we also lost a lot of prisoners. So George Anson is not going to be able to hang out here for very long unless he wants to get totally annihilated. Um, take Delhi is not going to be that easy, and I probably should have realized that. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying this particular Let's Play. If you are, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'm not sure how long it's going to last because, you know, uh, Pride of Nations is a tough, tough game. And, uh, you know, I'm not 100% good at it. Uh, I really need to learn quite a lot more before I consider myself, um, you know, good enough to be able to... to no, don't destroy the depot. Uh, to really be able to, uh, to do a good job. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. We're definitely going to build a depot here. And in fact, I don't want this guy going anywhere. I just want him building a depot. Uh, and hopefully we're going to have a few units which we can bring into this army. In fact, I already see one. We can actually have these guys attack, even without a commander. Uh, and we're eventually going to have them join our army as well. Um, hopefully we get some more colonels soon. I can see we're already getting a few. That's a good sign. Let's go ahead and merge those guys. 5% penalty. That seems to be good enough for me. Uh, and I'm going to move them to Mangalore, 38 days, uh, building a depot on the way if we can. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. If I keep playing, I'll never stop. Have an awesome, awesome day. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and thank you for watching.